Wait a minute. I'm not sure. I think I've just seen a siege on the right. Dear Dr. Shandy, Yes, Father. I brought someone for you to meet. I see. I see. Paul Atreides, the famous Muad'Dib. Stilgar didn't tell me, but I thought you should meet him. Interesting to tell him about your experiments. Perhaps it could be. He's a great leader. He's already discovered many sieges and has rallied many troop chiefs. You're right, both of you. I will show him everything I know. You've seen this planet, a big desert. Outer world's people think of it only as a spice reservoir. But people here love their home world, and they would like it to be more habitable. I'm involved in vegetation experiments, a vegetation that would grow in the sand. I came to create a new kind of bulb. I've got some of them here. Come in the next room with me. As you can see, these bulbs are almost ready. They still need a little more care. What I would need is to have some Fremen troops to help work on them. I know some local sieges. Go and try to convince them to work with me. Oh yes, water. Go to the room on your left. You'll see. Don't try to contact your men. All these men are our prisoners now. Now you can see what Great fighters we are! We are awaiting your orders. Here are the characteristics of my troop. We need bulbs to start vegetation. Show me where you want me to go. Okay. You were invited to drink the water of life. Hmm. Oh, yes. You were right not to try it. I've heard very little about it. Let me investigate. There is a strange disease here. We are all ill. Very ill. There is a strange disease. The Fremen are helping me get these bulbs ready. Muad'Dib, the dream comes true. We have to go to this siege to stem the epidemic. Strange disease we have here. Very strange. I wouldn't be surprised if the Harkonnens were behind all this. But I'm sure I can cure this disease. All I need is time. Strange indeed. Okay, Paul. 
I'm staying here to cure the Fremen. I guess that it will take me at least a couple of days. We can't let these Harkonnens attack our sieges like that. We must show them what we can do to their fortresses. Paul, I'm so happy. I've managed to cure everybody here. Paul, Let's go and see Chani. Chani isn't with you? She's vanished. Nobody has seen her. Chani has cured all of us, Moadim. A message has arrived from the palace. A message. We all like Chani a lot. I'm sure her disappearance will have a bad effect on the motivation of the Fremen troops. By the way, remember there's a message for you in the communication room. Searching new messages. Message for Fade Bafa Ah, your little darling is in my hands. I don't think you will see her again soon, little pup. This fade Routha Harkonnen, he is really insane. Watch out, Paul. He may be very dangerous. Chani kidnapped by fade Routha Harkonnen. That's not good. And I wonder where Chani is now. Probably not in the Harkonnen Palace. My guess is that she is in one of these Harkonnen fortresses. Why don't you use espionage troops to try to locate her? We are doing military training. Okay. We are doing military training. Show me where you want me to go. Okay. Chani is here. My troop is attacking this fortress. Let me show you the statistics of my troop. Would you like me to repeat what I said? What? Yeah! We won the battle, Muadib. Yeah! Oh, Paul, I was so scared. I'm so glad you were able to deliver me from these Harkonnen thugs. Paul, you are the only man able to make these Harkonnen step back. I'm proud to be at your side. We've been compelled to work for the Harkonnens for so many years. We were nothing more than slaves. Yes, I believe in you. My men and I are ready to follow you. We were captured by the Harkonnen troops here. We'll do our best not to be captured again. Good to see you with Chani again. The Fremen have recovered their motivation. Yes, Muadib, I am with you. There are saboteurs here in our siege. There are sab... I just had a look at the damaged equipment. No doubt, it was done intentionally. There are probably some Harkonnen agents infiltrated among us. We must stop these saboteurs. What we need is a well-trained military troop here. They'll investigate and find those damn Harkonnens. 
We've been asked to do agriculture, but can't start it. Let me show you the statistics of my troop. These bulbs can start vegetation. Water of life is an illuminating poison. It's produced by a baby worm when dying from drowning. It has changed within the body of Fremen Reverend Mothers to become a spectrum awareness narcotic. Paul, my son, you are now able to drink the water of life. It will greatly extend your capabilities, and I'm sure that the Fremen will worship you after that. We also have little quantities of the very special water of life. It is used by our few reverend mothers. The water of life extends consciousness, but only a few people are able to absorb it and live. Would you like to try it, Wadib? Your decision frightens me, Wadib. Drink it if that's your will. such a fright, Mwadiba. You've been unconscious for three hours. I don't know what the water of life has done to you. I'm not exactly expert in these matters. I cannot see any change in you now. It's the old... Paul, I was so frightened when you were drinking the water of life. What has it done to you? One group of bulbs is ready to be used, but as you can see, I'm working to prepare new ones. Oh, this is exalting, Wadib. Select destination for map. Desert. See if I have something for you. I have several laser guns for trade. Here is my price. You've got a deal. It's a pleasure to do business with you. Oh, Paul, how I can feel this power in you. Could he be the one? Believe me, Paul, I can sense that your powers have increased. You are now able to contact Fremen in a wider range. After drinking the water of life, your mental capabilities have been boosted. You should now be able to contact Fremen on the entire planet. We now control more areas than the Harkonnens do. You are doing well, Paul. Paul. If you don't attack the Harkonnen fortresses, they will continue attacking us like that. We are doing military. Show me where you want me to go. Okay. We've won the battle, Muad'Dib. Good to see these Harkonnens beaten off. Our Fremen are good warriors. And you are a great leader of men. I understand the final attack is imminent. There are no more Harkonnen fortresses on Dune. The Arakeen Palace is the only Harkonnen place remaining. To attack the palace, I suggest that we use the help of Thufir Hawat. 
it would be a good idea to ask Thufir to come with us in one of the places around the palace, wouldn't it? We're almost ready for the final attack. Okay, let's go. This is a good place to prepare the final attack. I want to stay here for a while. This is a good place. Good. This is a good place to prepare the final attack. Before anything else, I think it would be better to gather Jessica, Chani, Gurney, and Stilgar all here. I understand the final attack is imminent. As you wish, Po. Please come back soon. I'm sure that Thufir Hawad is the best man to prepare the final attack. As you wish, Mwadib. I will stay here. Gurney Halleck is here. I understand that the final attack is imminent. Okay. If you like, I can stay here to train these... Oh, good to see you, Paul. I think you have the situation under control. Okay. Yes, I've asked Paul to gather us here as we were about to attack the Harkonnen Palace. Oh! Yes, Jessica. Your son has been able to annihilate all of the Harkonnen fortresses. You can be proud of him. The Fremen will always be indebted to Paul for this. Let's not get too hasty. There's still the Harkonnen Palace. You're right. And don't forget that the Baron and Fade Rauta are there. I'll never forget that they killed my dear Leto. Moreover, the Emperor himself could come to help his Harkonnen allies. We have enough men around the palace to attack it. You and Stilgar should launch the attack now. Do you want to launch the attack now? Good. The troops are now converging on the palace. We must wait until our troops put this shield down with the atomics. The shield is down. The Harkonnen troops have surrendered. The shield is down. The Harkonnen troops have surrendered. Now that the shield is down, we can go to the Harkonnen palace.
Yes, Mwalimu. I am with you. I'm staying here. Now that the shield is down, we can go to the Harkonnen Palace. Look, Paul. The Emperor is here. How dare you treat us like that? I'll banish your family. You, Emperor Shaddam, are a liar. You will never again rule as the Emperor. You had a Machiavellian plan, Shaddam IV. Yes, you sent us to doom, hoping that the Harkonnens would crush us. Ah, I, uh... But Paul has upset your plan by rallying all of the Fremen against you. You, Baron Harkonnen, have mistreated our people with so much cruelty. These Fremen, they're just a bunch of... The one that the Fremen were waiting for. The legend comes true. Don't make me laugh. He's just a whip. You had better not say that of your new emperor. What? You could hardly expect to remain emperor after this. You three are going to be exiled on the prison planet. Long live the emperor, Paul Atreides, and Johnny his empress. <laughs>